In the hill tracks, I would say the, the most important challenge is to implement the provisions of the Chittagong Hill Tracks Accord of 1997. Large parts of the agreement are still to be implemented, which includes, for example, complete demilitarization, further devolution of authority to the regional and district councils, the rehabilitation of the internally displaced indigenous people, and some of the rehabilitation of some of the refugees which had taken shelter in India, but were brought back. And there are other issues, of course, like resolution of land disputes which is also a very big part of the agreement. But there are a number of uh, problems that stand in the way of faithful uh, implementation of the agreement. And I, I think one of the problems is that the, the contents, the provisions of the agreement haven't been promoted, haven't been explained the context of such an agreement has never been explained. And so with a country like Bangladesh, where mainstream history and the curriculum in the universities and schools and so forth has very little about the history and lives of the indigenous people. So the average government official has absolutely no idea why there should be this peace accord, why should there should be a regional council, why there should be a system of chiefs and headmen. And so I think it's very important to, if you like, de-demonize the agreement. It's been made to look as if, as if it's discriminating against and violating the rights of others who are not indigenous peoples, the Bangali, the majority population of the country, but who are perhaps just about a minority in the hill tracks as a whole. So one needs to explain, explain how these people were victimized, how the lands were taken over, how they were actually expelled from their former territories, so that now they have to crowd this region called the Chittagong Hill Tracks, and how they had their own self-governance system.